Here we are in Rosen Yimi lean to shelter. I've just got some firewood ready for tonight and the next order of business is to put up my tarp for the night. I'm using a DD Hammocks Super Light XL tarp which is 4.5 meters by 2.9 so a long rectangle. Let's see how it, how it goes. Okay first things first I've strung a ridge line from one tree to another and it's about 160, 170 centimeters off the, off the ground. The next thing is to pick out uh, at least two of the side panels and I do that on both sides. The next phase is to make the doors and so uh, what I've done is I have put two pegs in the floor and this allows the actual flaps to overlap. Take this side first. sound like that and I'll repeat the same thing on the back side as well okay the tar tent now resembles a boat sort of so if anybody's familiar with hammocking this will be quite a familiar sort of shape quite compact fully enclosed doors on each end yeah the last thing to do now is to, to make some pull outs to uh, make, a leave, make it even a little bit more space inside so the last modification that I did was to try a lifter bar using my trekking pole. This is very simply the trekking pole extended out to its full length, it's 140 centimeters, and then I simply lash some string from the end all the way to the contact point. The contact point to the tarp is made from a contact lens container that you put your contact lenses in. So the uh, back part of the container is against the inside of the tarp and then it's pressed against the cap and it's screwed into place. It seems to hold quite well although I'll have to check tomorrow to see if it has actually damaged the tarp because this is a super light version. It might be that it's not durable enough for this kind of treatment. We'll see how it goes. But I'm quite pleased that the, the actual pole stays put quite well and it just sits on the sits on the ridge line like that. Certainly does provide a lot more space inside the tarp. My sleeping bag is already set up. I have my Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt atop my Thermo Rest Polar Ranger. I have plenty of space in here and uh, yeah that white is the snow. Actually it was quite difficult setting up the tent. It took a long time to get the pegs in because uh, the ground is quite icy. It's going to be interesting tomorrow getting the pigs out again, but that's the problem for tomorrow. Yeah, it's currently minus 13, so it's a bit on the chilly side. Luckily, I've got quite good gear on, so I, uh, apart from the tips of my fingers, I'm actually quite warm and comfortable. I'll get some hot food on now to help that as well. Some people arrived to the lean to shelter and started to build a fire, but I'm feeling a bit antisocial, so I'll probably just stay here in the, t in the tent. I don't know if they're staying here all night, but uh, we'll see how we get on. There's no moon tonight, and there's loads of stars, but um, I just got a bit of a scare. I heard some noise on the coming from the lake on the ice. It was somebody skiing at night in the dark with no lights, only in Finland. You know it's cold when your hands stick to the tripod when you're trying to film and anything metal basically sticks to your skin and this is a first. So for the food this evening we have fancy schmancy food. It is Nor the Norwegian company Real Turmat, or Real Turmat as some people call it, and you're gonna have Pasta bolognese. So, the film was, I know is quite, quite good and it was on sale so I figured what the hell I'll give it a try. It's a new pot I got from Temu, the Chinese Amazon so called. It's got a heat exchanger in and uh, yeah it's quite not a bad pot. It seems to work quite well. Only problem is, is uh, my gas doesn't like these temperatures and so it's far from efficient and actually quite slow. It's a good thing I have the fire so that 
I can, if necessary, use that to heat up water and then I can have hot food. Good morning, folks. Ooh, that was a cold night, but I managed to get through it okay. Uh, my feet were cold on occasion. Other than that, yeah, it was actually pretty okay. Sleeping bag worked quite well. Only downside was I realized during the night that the mat I have uh, was too cold and I couldn't figure out why. Yeah, only problem is I took the wrong air, air mattress with me. I found out that during the night that I had taken the Trichology UL80 with me and not the Thermarest Neo Air Xtherm. So, uh, yeah, the Trichology's rated has an order value of something like 2.3, whereas the, uh, yeah, the Neo Air Xtherm is 6.9. But I managed to get around it by putting pine branches underneath me and then putting the foam mattress inside my sleeping bag along with some Reflectix and uh, for the most part that kept me warm. The only part was my cold feet, that sort of kept me awake. I didn't sleep very well, but then again I rarely do. But uh, yeah, overall, wasn't too bad. This morning is going to be a porridge. I have a mixture of two types in here. And uh, I found these Be Your Own Barista uh, coffee brewers, disposable ones in the shop. They're only at one, one euro 80 each, so I figured I'd give them a try. In principle, it's just uh, serving a coffee in a filter, which you fill in through the top, and then your coffee pours like that from there. So it's always nice, nice to have a good cup of coffee in the morning. These are also supposed to be reusable. It should be possible to take this home, clean out the old coffee, replace it with my own, and then use it again once more. Right, let's let that brew. Yeah, the colour looks pretty good. I could be a bar barista yet. First coffee of the morning as the sun is rising. Doesn't get much better than that. Cheers. Oh, that's quite nice. Mm. Well, the landscape is just fantastic. All packed up and ready to go. Love the place, leave no trace. Thank you to Rose and Amy for hosting me again. This was a very interesting adventure and uh, the coldest I've ever camped. So I think it worked out quite well. Okay, let's go. So safely back to the car. I think I'm going to drive now and stop in and get a little bit of lunch and some hot coffee just to warm up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, yeah it seems that my winter gear actually works quite well so I'm quite happy with it still need some tweaks and modifications if I'm gonna camp again though in such cold weather leave a like or a comment and uh, maybe consider subscribing if you like and uh, yeah I'll catch you on the next video this is Kevin signing off all the best my moi, moi.